Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll share with you how you can easily transcribe any media file, whether video or audio to text. You also get to learn how you can equally add subtitles to your video or any content out there, whether for Instagram reels, TikTok videos, YouTube videos, and such likes. So watch this video to the end. Meanwhile, if you are new on this channel and you are yet to subscribe, kindly smash on the subscribe button. Also, give this video a thumbs up, like it, and comment down below. All right, guys, so let's dive right into it. So we're making use of uh, several tools that will help us to be able to achieve our aim. Now, the name of this platform that we are going to use uh, is known as media.io. Actually, it's a SaaS platform. When I talk about SaaS, I mean software as a service per platform. So what it does basically is that it offers users the opportunity to be able to use uh, some of these premium software tools to carry out several activities. For example, if you go to the menu section, you see that they have a video converter. There's also audio converter. They have image converter to convert video to GIF, MP3 converter, MP4 converter. JPEG to PNG converter. Then under editor, you have a video editor. Add text to video, add audio to video, add subtitle, uh, auto title, auto transcription, text to speech. So remember, we are going to work with this uh, auto transcription. Then you have other options such as uh, removing of watermark, trimming of video, cropping of video, merging videos, changing speed of video, slideshow maker, auto cutter. And um, then under the compressor section, you have video compressor, audio compressor, image compressor, and several other tools. So let's go to, go to our area of interest. So this is the transcription interface. So actually, you can go directly to the URL, media.io slash app slash sound to text. So this is it. Now, uh, this is where we have to upload the video or audio that we wish to transcribe or extract the text. Then uh, they, they have their pricing. So if you click on the pricing, you see the various plans that they have. So right here, under their free plan, this is the free plan. They have the option of a video editor. Then you can equally export videos of maximum of 30 minutes. Then you have up to one gig storage. Because whatever it is you are doing on this platform, because it is online and it is a SaaS platform, it is um, uploaded to their server so you have access to use uh, up to one gig of their server space okay so the next feature here is uh they have over 10 minutes speech to text then there's also 2000 characters allowed for uh, text to speech then on the editor for audio you are allowed up to 20 megabytes file size and up to two times per day. Then they have a basic plan and a pro plan. Okay, so we are going to be making use of the free plan. So what we'll do next is we'll click on sign up. Okay, so once you click on sign up, you see this is create account. So under here, you have option to use either your Gmail or Google account to sign up. Then, or even your Facebook. You can also use Twitter. Then this for Apple, that is you have an Apple account. Or you can go ahead to type your email address here to uh, sign up, so email address, password. Then if you have already have an account with them, you can log in. So once you click on login, it's going to take you to a login page. So, so they are making use of this one that share ID uh, interface. So we are actually interested in the sign up session. So we click on create account and there. Uh, Right here, let's go to the browser and create a temporary email or disposable email. Why I use this uh, temporary email option is, you know, you may want to use several uh, files, like you may want to convert several files under the free trial or the free plan. So it's good you use the disposable email. So that you can always generate fresh ones at will to be able to actualize your aim. 
Okay, guys, so let's go ahead to, to uh, get the disposable email that we're going to make things of. So this is it. So we'll go ahead to click on copy. Um, then paste it here. Next is create password. So you see that it is expected that the password, you, whatever password you enter there must contain at least some letters and numbers. So it should be a combination of alphabets and uh, numbers. So let's do it. Uh, if you want to show your, show the password, you click on this. Then there's a password length. The length must be between six to 32. It's specified here, um, six to 32 characters. Okay. Then the next thing is click on create account. All right, so um, you can see a verification code has been sent to the temporary email that we use. So we go back to the disposablemail.com interface. So right here, we're going to see the option to open the mail. Okay, so the mail has come. We click on it to open it. Okay, still loading. Okay, so we've opened up the email. So we have to highlight this and copy it. That's the uh, code that has been sent to us. So uh, we'll go back to this window and paste it here. Then once you paste it here, uh, click on verify code. Okay, so you can see that we we have successfully created an account. So. Uh, this is the user avatar profile. You see, this is the email address we use to sign up or create the account. It equally has a Chrome extension, you know, so that you can be able to record your screen. And you can go remove your background and uh, some other functionality. So, but we are not interested in this one, so that's the remove background and uh, the rest. So, what we're all interested in now is just to transcribe either a video and audio to text. And um, one beautiful thing about this tool is that it's very accurate and uh, it's automatic. So the quality of its, uh, you know, the transcribed text, that's the output, is very high. So I've used it separately and uh, it's really, really good. So uh, you can go ahead to, when you, either you click on this place or you drag and drop the file here. Okay, so like I mentioned earlier, I would make use of either a Facebook account the video or audio from Facebook or from Anchor FM or podcast, any cloud podcast platform, or even Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, Rumble, and whatever it is. Even if you've saved the file, the audio video file in your system, your laptop, you can get it from there. Okay, so uh, for the purpose of this uh, video, I will be making use of a uh, YouTube video. So I'll go to YouTube and uh, I'll get a video and use it for that. Okay, so uh, like I said, we'll be making use of a YouTube video. So go ahead to get the link of the video you want to make use of for this purpose. So for example, uh, okay, let's make use of one of these. If we are to make use of one of these, we can go ahead to copy the, okay, let's make use of this. This one is a 13 minutes. 13 minutes, 4 seconds, so this one is 5 minutes, 0 to 8 seconds. Okay, we'll make use of uh, at least 2 or 3 of them so that you see the varying um, options. So let's make use of this first one that has a lower time, that's 5 minutes and 3 seconds. So we right click on it to copy the link. Then the next thing is go to any YouTube downloader site. I'm making use of whytomate.com. There are several of them that does the same work. For example, there is also uh, Save From. 
from Lord Met, then the same deal, you know, and a handful of them. So uh, Okay, so this is saved from .NET. Once you uh, paste the video link here, it's going to generate uh, some links for the video for you. So you see the links here. When you click on the arrow, you see the options to uh, find various options here. So if you don't want to download in any of these five formats, you can make use of this white to meet. So when you come here and repeat the same process, just paste the link in this box. Okay, so you can see the various uh, video formats. Uh, they have ads on this side, so it comes up professionally. Okay, so um, you close this. Right here, you can see, guys, that you can um, download the video in any of these um, sizes. You have 720p, that uh, the size is 10.2 megabytes. 480p, 7.8, 360p, uh, 240p, 144p. Uh, that's for MP4 and the 3GP formats. So you can go ahead to click on any of these to download them. But uh, I would like to use the MP3 or audio file format. So you you may want to go ahead to click on this. So next thing you want to do you want to do is uh, click on download. So like I said, this site has ads. So whenever you click on it, it's going to definitely pop up some ads for you. Okay. So here we are. It has generated download link. So we click on this again. All right. So you can see the file is downloading now. Okay. So we right click on it and um, we can open it in the downloads folder. Okay, so this right here is the uh, MP3 file we just downloaded. So remember, we have to go back to the platform that we are making use of, the media.io. Okay, so right here, we have to either select the file, that's by clicking here, or we can go ahead to drag and drop it. So I'll be dragging and dropping it here. So I'll drag and drop this here. Okay, so this is it now. Then the next thing is you can see there are different lang official languages, uh, you know, options in under this um, drop down. So you go to go through them. First of all, you have to select the default language used in the clip, whether in the video or audio file. So if the default language is English, you select it. If it is Dutch, Netherlands, or Fr uh, French, that's for Francophone. In this uh, French speaking countries, then if it's German, you select German, if it's in uh, Italian or Port Portuguese. So these are major languages that are covered here. Uh, let me scroll down a little bit. There's an option for Spanish too, or uh, French, that Canadian French and uh, Hindi, India. Okay, so we're making use of the default, which is English, because that's the default language of this uh, particular file. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is uh, we click on transcribe now. So you can see transcribing. Okay, so first of all, it's uploading the audio file into their uh, onto their server. Then after that, the transcription will begin proper. Okay, so you can see the uh, transcription has started. You can probably see the uh, particular percentage uh, stage that it is at the moment.
Okay, so we've got to hold on and wait for it uh, for some time to complete uh, before we proceed. So kindly note that this works for all media, whether uh, audio file, uh, video file, you know, on any platform. Even if you've not uploaded it on any platform, maybe uh, you just uh, a file you just created, you know, or maybe you just um, have the file in your system, a uh, laptop. You can always uh, use these same processes and follow these strategies. So guys, this is a very, very good uh, process that you can relate to them. All right, so while we are waiting for the transcription to complete, we also have to take note of the fact that like I said, you can make use of um, conventional emails such as Gmail, you know, uh, Yahoo Mail, and Hotmail, and stuff like that. So, to, to be able to use the full version repeatedly, you know, several years, you, you may not want to go through the puzzle of uh, creating multiple Gmail, which may lead you to uh, verify your phone number and all that. So, you may want to consider using disposable or temporary mail. So as a matter of fact, there are several temporary mail providers out there on the internet. Remember, the one we are using is this, uh, disposable mail. So um, when, when you go to Google, let me show you, show you guys this. When you go to Google and type um, temporary email, temporary email, so you see several of them. There is tempmail.org. There's also email on deck.com. We have tempail. Then this is the one we are using, disposable mail. Uh, we have tempmailo. Then there are also apps too, mobile apps that does that function. Then there's crypto gmail. There is an email.gg. Um, so you see these are tempmail.dev. And these are an Apple app that does the same function. So you see they are, they, these ones are the ones ranking on page one. So you can always make use of this uh, temporal email to achieve this uh, papers right here using this uh, particular strategy. Okay, guys, um, while we wait for this, because it's meant to reach 100% before the transcription will be completed. I also want to let you know that uh, while doing this, you can use this as captions or subtitles for your content over time. So don't... Um, don't underestimate the power of this particular strategy because it helps you to create content faster and uh, you can equally use it maybe based on you. Maybe if you want to replicate what's already working for your competitors in your niche, irrespective of the platform you are in, you can always uh, utilize this uh, strategy anytime, any day. So it's, it's an effective way of getting uh, you know the text version of your content then for you if you are not or for you to be able to write you can also use this strategy you know whereby you can just voice your you know, words in your mind 
and um, your thoughts about the topic you want to focus on. You know, send the article or the content or the book you want to write, then you transcribe it to text. Like I said, it saves you time and um, it helps you to be more efficient and be more productive. All right, guys, so the transcription has uh, completed. So right here, this is the output. See, so it's very well punctuated. So you have two options to be able to extract this uh, output or this text. You can highlight it and uh, copy, copy it, or you go ahead to this uh, S3 bar under export, then click on download.txt. Okay, so uh, this is the downloaded file. Let me open it. So you can see this is the text file that we just uh, transcribed from audio. Okay, so now the next thing you should do is uh, if you want to transcribe more, you can click on this. Remember, for the free version, you have option of having up to 2,000 characters. That's under the free plan that we are making use of. So this is the 2,000 characters and the maximum of 10 minutes. If you upgrade to any of their paid plans, you can have a um, greater number of characters like this. This is um, basic plan. This is the basic plan. They offer you up to 100,000 characters per month and uh, two hours maximum. Then you probably have six hours for the pro plan and uh, 200,000 characters per month. Then you see other features that are added to each and every one of these other options here. Okay, so now there's an interesting aspect I want you to pay close attention to, and that is, for example, if a video is more than 10 minutes, as is stipulated there, that's under the free plan. Let me scroll down. So you see, for this now, so that you can be, you be able to make use of this uh, author subtitles and transcription option. Now, if a video is more than 10 minutes, like this video now is uh, 13 minutes, what we'll do is uh, we'll go ahead to repeat the same process, copy the link of this video. Then we go to why to make. Then paste it here. Okay, then next thing is to download the audio file. Uh, remember, this website has ads, so it, it always pops out at uh, some time. Okay, so right here we click on download, so I can it can generate the download link for this uh, particular one. So just pay close attention because you see how I'm going to handle this now. All right, guys, so uh, next thing you want to do is uh, to go ahead to click on this download. Oh, uh, you can see it's downloading. If you look at the bottom left uh, bar, on top of the tax bar, okay, so this is the file. All right, so um, So right here, this is the file. If you hover over this, let me show you guys. You see, this is 13 minutes, three seconds. Now, what do we want to achieve with this? Uh, because of the 10 minutes cap limit for this free plan on this uh, transcription tool, the next thing we are going to do is to use our MP3 cutter platform to divide this clip into two. So how do we go about it? First of all, Go to the platform mp3cut.net. Okay, so you can see this is an audio cutter. You can either trim or cut any audio file online. It's very easy. 
Okay, uh, we we'll go over to the download folder and drag and drop this into this um, audio cutter. It equally has a Chrome extension, so you can make use of it if you want. Okay, so you can see that the audio has been loaded into this interface. So right here, um, if you scroll down, you see other options and the functionalities of this platform. Okay, then the next thing you do is, uh, this is the timeline you know, of the audio file. So you see various times. So what we we'll do is we we'll go to the S3 and the drag it to trim part of this audio so let's trim it like um, it's 13 minutes long so let's divide this into two like seven minutes each so that it can be under the 10 minutes for the uh, maximum limit of the free plan and the auto transcription too so uh, let's leave it at this point 10. we have to close this then guys the next thing you want to do is uh, first of all, understand that you can also play it here to be sure that you are trimming it wherever you want to. So, uh, as a matter of fact, it must not be at uh, you know half of the amount of time. You can be, you know, you can break it down into maybe ten minutes each. Like if the maximum is ten minutes, you can make it maybe nine fifty nine or nine fifty eight minutes. That's nine minutes with eight seconds, then or fifty nine seconds, or even ten. 10 minutes you know on the dot so but it's good to be on the safe side uh, you can make it leave it at uh, 9.59 yes so let's leave it at this all right so before then note that there are controls here that you can use for example you can uh, leave your playhead on any part of this timeline so if you click on play it's very very positive so you see that um the audio is going to play on that then there is also um fade in fade out then you see trim cuts then timing you can equally use this to you know adjust it this is the start time this um the end time for example if you want to start at let's say four minutes once you type four here click here and type four can you see it has jump to four if you want to, if you don't want it to start at four, maybe you want it to start at let's say from two minutes. So whatever timeline you put here, that's what it's gonna come. Okay, so I've returned this to zero. That's why you see zero, zero because I want it to start from here. That's if you don't want to drag this, you know, between this uh, particular window. So the same thing applies with this for start time. If you want it to end that, even if it's five minutes, it's like five here. You see, this is the end time. Then um, let's take it back to 9.59. <laughs> Okay, so we go ahead to click on. Okay, I would like to make this. Let me make it half of this anyway, as we did earlier. So let's leave it as seven since the clip is 13 minutes. So I uh, will click on save encoding. You see the percentage. Once it reaches 100, it's going to show us um, another. Okay, guys. So, um, meanwhile, if you are finding this video valuable, kindly smash on the like button and give it a thumbs up while we continue.
Uh, don't forget also to subscribe to this channel if you, if you are yet to do so. Okay, so the next thing we do is I will click on save again to download the clip that we just um, divided it to. So this is it now. If I click on this and um, okay, let me go to the download folder. This is it. Okay, so we'll go back to the online um, transcription tool. Mm, okay remember this is the uh, interface where we were before okay so we we'll go ahead to if you to click on transcribe more now you have to use this transcribe more if you still have sufficient uh, number of characters remaining under the pre plan so if not don't bother using this again like you have to go back to our uh, disposable mail you know you log out from this okay let me do that first of all you log out from this that's repeating the uh, sign up process again you log out from this particular one the aim is so that you won't be stuck while transcribing the second part of the clip that's if it is long enough to exceed the 10 minutes mark for the pre-plan okay so now that i've logged out uh, this sign up so i can click on sign up Okay, guys, so uh, let's go back to the disposable mail and uh, fetch a fresh one. All right, so while we wait for this to load up, note that the previous email on this browser is still there, you know, on this same platform, disposablemail.com. So what we'll do is uh, we are going to delete this so that we can generate fresh one. So it's either we delete this, Click on delete, you know, it's going to pop up this ad, close it. Then um, it will generate a fresh one. You see, it has generated a fresh one. Or there's another option to go about it. You can click on edit. Now, while you click on edit, you can generate your own unique um, temporal email ID. So, whichever name you want to use, or character, or word, or whatever combination. You can go ahead to do that. So let's let's do that. Let me show you guys. I think. Um. Okay. So if it is available, you are going to see that it is available. If it is not, you will see that it is not. So. Uh, whatever it is prefix you add here will now be at this this doitops.com so um once you type this let's click on confirm now before that note that you have up to between 3 to 18 characters long options to type right here if you have to select your own uh, preferred email id so what we will do is i'll uh, click on confirm Okay, so can you see uh, we've been able to print that? So we go ahead to copy it. Click on copy. This is it. So uh, we go back to transcription tool under the create account option. Always ensure you under create account. That's if you are signing up newly. If not, you log in. So what we want to create a fresh one. So click on this and paste it here. Then uh, drop the password. You can see our password is not accepted because uh, we've not added some numbers to it. So we expected to add both numbers and uh, letters to the password. So I'm going to add it now. This is for show password. That if you want to display your password, then go ahead to click on create account. Okay. So uh, you see verification code sent.
Okay, so uh, we go over to the disposable mail. Uh, this disposable mail, okay, so it has arrived. So we can get the verification code. This is it. You look here, you see. Click on it. And um, remember, these are six digit code is unique to you and uh, it expires within a short space of time. So always try to make use of it as soon as possible. Once it arrives, you can remember. Okay. Uh, then we paste it here. The next thing is click on verify code. You go ahead to click on this, you see. Um, your account has been verified. Uh, we clicked on it twice, so let's wait for it. Okay, so it has signed us in again. So, um, okay, you see this the email, Eagle Spare is okay. All right, so we can go ahead to transcribe. They remember the second audio we are working with now, the one that we trimmed using the MP3 code platform. So we go ahead to drag and drop it here. Okay, so uh, as usual, we have to select the language spoken in the video. So the current language is English, United States. Then after that, you may want to go ahead to uh, smash on this. Uh, Transcribe noun button. Okay, so it's uploading now. After uploading, transcribing will start. So you see, uh, this is it. The percentage has also been displayed. So let's wait for it to uh, attain 100%, then we can proceed. Also note that the length of time it takes to upload any audio clip or video you selected on this uh, platform, media.io, is determined by the size and length of that clip. Because, for example, if you're uploading a one-hour clip, you are sure that it's going to take more time. So make sure that you're using a fast internet connection so that you can be able to uh, attain a desired result and output very much uh, easily in a more faster way Okay, so while we wait for this to come up, that has to be completed. Remember, it takes time. So that's why it's good for you to always um, use a um, better quality internet connection and uh, better quality content, whether audio or video 
file formats. All right, guys, so uh, while we are on it, I would like to also uh, take you through the navigation panel of this particular platform, media.io. Okay, so right here on the sidebar, you are going to see uh, several options, such as on the workspace. So when you click on the workspace, you, are, you will see the option to create a video, record a video, that's if you want to use it as a screen recorder. Then the transcription service, which we just uh, used, then uh, you know you have a handful of some templates here so if you click on this arrow by the side you're going to see several templates that you can serve for different purposes so um, okay, for example if you want to work on a youtube channel you can click on this so that you can be able to uh, work on this particular video template then if you want to start a project you can also click on this all right, so the next thing after that is um, the, my files option. So if you look here, um, under my files, if you have files, you are going to see it here. Actually, this is a new account we set up, so you are still not going to find um, any project here because you've not created any there. Then under pop tools, there's a drop down option for that too. So you, you may want to check it out. The first one is text to speech. So if you have text or written articles or words you would like to convert to audio or speech, you can also make use of this particular feature. Then the next one is noise reduction. So uh, I clicked on that so that you see uh, how it is. Okay, so for you to be able to enhance your audio quality by removing background noise, you can utilize this particular feature. Now, how does this work? First of all, you have to know that when you have recorded some audio uh, content for your maybe platform, whether YouTube, uh, TikTok, Instagram, podcast platforms, Anchor, FM, Spotify, and Co. There might be some background noise depending on your environment and uh, maybe the quality of your equipment and uh, recording gadgets. So you should consider using this tool to help you, you know, uh, tackle that. So it's very easy anyway. Just it's just similar to the earlier one we used that transcription tool, wherever you upload the media or you drag and drop it here, then you are going to start the process of reducing the uh, the noise. So basically, it tries to match your voice with um, any homing background voice it can find in any particular clip or audio that you selected. So that is it. Now, also know that it's good you you uh, you know use um, good uh, soundproof devices because if your voice is not um, audible enough, there might be some distortions in the final output. Yes, so you have to take note of that. It's very important. Okay, so then uh, there's also option for you to change your voice. There's a voice changer option here. So you can turn your voice into different pitches automatically. Yeah. So, um, so if you, for example, if you wish to change your voice to female voice or male voice, uh, or child voice, or robot voice, or donor dog voice. You can select any of these options anyway. So, uh, so check out each and every one. Depending on your intended output and how you would like it to appear. So if, for example, the original voice of the audio is a, a female voice, you can change it to male. That's the implication of this. Now, if it is that of an adult, you can equally change it to the voice of a child, if that is exactly what you need. Then if you need a purely robotic voice, you can equally select this option. Okay. Then there's also the option for nail cutter. So uh, we've not changed, uh, saved the earlier changes. So uh, click on continue. So, 
you see uh, audio cutter. Remember, this feature now is similar to the feature we had earlier, right here on this on p 3 cutter.net. So you can use this um, cutter to be able to trim or you know remove some part of your audio, and you are not going to lose out any quality in the audio while doing this. So it's a very good feature. All right, so uh, the next option here is audio joiner. So this basically allows you, if you want to merge several audios, or, you know, stuff like that, you can go ahead to use this particular tool. So it tries to merge those uh, clips for you in a more concise way. Then you probably have um, music visualization or music visualizer. So you can easily create a simple audio waveform visualization online for free. So this will probably help to improve the listening and visual experience in your songs. So even if you're a newbie, you shouldn't worry about this. You see the preview here, how it's going to be. So um, if you click on try, you're going to see the option for that. Okay, so right here, uh, you have to drop or uh, upload uh, any of such audio you want to convert to video by adding some waveform to it. So if you create to record it, you can just click on record. You know. But if you have, you can select the files from here and uh, take it up from there. Okay, guys, so um, remember, these are other features that comes along with the transcription. So this tool is not just used only for transcribing audio to text. You can equally utilize it for several other purposes, which I've you know, walked you through in this um, particular video. So it's good you take advantage of this because with time, um, this tool might no longer be a free tool. Uh, you know, they are still in beta, most of their features are still in beta phase or testing phase, so they tend to like leave better portion of it open and um, accessible to free members. For example, you see uh, this noise reduction and uh, several of these uh, other features here too. So even the transcription is still in beta phase, it is, it's written boldly here in beta.
All right, guys. So uh, let's go back to the audio to text transcribe uh, feature. Okay, so uh, remember this was the initial interface where we are working on. So right here you can achieve uh, the transcription uh, action while on the other interface you can achieve several other options and um, you'll be able to utilize the other utilities there such as um, noise reduction like I've shared with you guys, voice changer, audio cutter and all that. Now I want to also let me show you guys this vocal remover. This vocal remover, it works in a marvelous way such that, for example, uh, you can remove vocals from any song using this uh, AI-based technology. Yeah, so it is very efficient. So, for example, if you, are, yeah, if you have multiple artists or multiple people who are featured in a particular audio, you know, not necessarily noise, but you can use it to descend the particular voice you would like to you know, remove as part of maybe if there are more than one person who are active um, speakers within an audio file or in an audio you know output or maybe in a song you can always utilize this to, or you know maybe remove one of the voices and then replace it with another one or even leave it at that while you are you know working on the song or the music or the Okay, so uh, let's click go back to the home page of this um, platform. Okay, so um, if you click on one of these, Okay, so you can see there's a timeline here. Why I open this is to show you how this works. There's a timeline on this interface, you know, for your project. So, for example, like I said earlier, you can drag and drop files here. So this means that this can serve as your editor. So instead of using conventional, maybe offline uh, video editors, you can make use of these two. You can only one key anyway. So you can use it to edit both video, audio, and um, you know, other kinds of files very in a more much easier way and a convenient uh, way so right here you see option for more templates text uh, subtitles uh, if you click on it you are going to see option for auto subtitles if you create subtitles maybe from other sources or other platforms you can also get it from here or even Using the earlier option I share with you guys, you can still utilize it here. Then there's also an option for manual subtitles. So when you click on this, you see uh, you can select language, add subtitle, and uh, you see from here you type you type the subtitle. however you want it to appear and uh, can you see it's coming up here okay. so you make use of this timeline to be able to know where any of the subtitles should fall in so this is the file you can drag this to you know, stop wherever you want it to stop then maybe uh, the next one starts wherever you want it to start from
Note that this has English as its uh, default language. So you can also make use of different um, languages, not just English. So right here, you can select any other, for example, French. French. You see French. Then if you want to translate it to maybe uh, Spanish or uh, German, you can select it from there. Or even any other language from here. You know, there are over 100 different languages listed here. So you scroll down. I would like to scroll down. Uh, whether Italian, Japanese, uh, Dutch, Norwegian, Swedish, whatever you know, language it is, you will find it along these lines, along these options here. Yeah. Okay, so All right, guys, so uh, there's also option for elements too. So you can add elements to your videos. And, uh, you see different elements listed here. There are shapes or arrows. There's also emoji sound waves, different um, icons too that can be used. Okay, so it's very important you take note of that. All right, so kindly note that I didn't title this, so you can title this to anything. Um, sample video. All right, guys, so um, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you found it valuable. Kindly smash on the subscribe button and like this video. Also, give it a thumbs up and turn on your post notification icon. So if you have any questions and answers, you can always drop it in the comment section below. Uh, don't forget to reach out to me uh, via the contact in the description if you have any concerns. So uh, I wish you the very best. If meanwhile, uh, you also need to know that um, for this particular platform, you can make use of it as many times as possible. So even if you haven't read audios or clips or videos you'd like to uh, transcribe or edit, you know, with the use of the disposable email I share with you guys, you can create virtually unlimited number of emails and unlimited you know, number of accounts right on this platform and um, use it for any of these purposes, whether it's for you know, um, text to speech or uh, functionality, noise reduction, video compression, video conversion, uh, voice uh, vocal removal, background removal, and uh, other stuff like that. So, if you go over to all tools and smash on all tools, you are going to see uh, 
the briefing of all this. So it's going to record your screen. It's your to title, transcription, new combat, and all this and all. So if we move down, you see, in fact, it is very, it's very well uh, calibrated and sectioned. So if we look down, you see our image tools. Yes, background remover, image converter, image compressor, uh, video to GIS. Then on that of you, you have uh, audio compressor, audio converter, audio compressor, vocal remover, audio generator, voice changer. Then um, if you move up, you see video tools like I mentioned earlier. So, um, this is an all-in-one solution that uh, you cannot go without. It's very important to utilize this tool. Right now. So, all right, guys, thank you so much uh, once again for watching this video. I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Also, guys, um, if you look up here, you also discover that um, right here on the home page of this platform, they have displayed um, several features of this tool. So you can see sign up for free. And um, is is a tool that you can utilize in different aspects, such as for creating YouTube video, for working on your music video, for lyric video, for video podcast. Uh, you can equally use it for creating YouTube intro. You know, um, stuff like that, including uh, explainer videos, Zoom videos, college videos, movie makers, training videos, and such like. So, even if um, whatever it is you want to do in terms of video production or audio production or audio editing or video editing, this is an all in one tool. It's, it's a massive tool, all in one solution. Yeah. So, uh, it, though it's written here, but you shouldn't take their word for it. You can go ahead and check them out. I mean, they are, they are really serving the purpose because they are offering a wonderful, um, offering wonderful packages right here. So, guys, go ahead to utilize this tool. It's very good. So, uh, you see some of the features here, converter, editor, compressor. So, uh, moving down. You can add these features, auto subtitle, engaging text, waveform machine, video file. Then um, 
can easily convert your files from one file to another to the other. It will be very fast. And um, you can only start both as screen recorder and uh, as webcam recorder. That's if you want to show your face to your audience. Then uh, it also has a background remote and local remote and um, other features. So on that video section, you can use it both for creating educational, promotional, and personal kind of uh, branded videos. So um, you go ahead to check them out. You see the wide variety of features that it has. It's very, very amazing. It's an amazing tool. So actually, this company that I was using has been existed for over 30 years. So, and over 1,500 miles have supported. They have over 15 million users worldwide. So, it's a, it's a, it's a tool that has a global appeal and uh, has a huge audience. They have over 379 million files has been processed so far. So, that's massive. On the other hand, they also have um, good you know, reviews. Check out here. See that they have massive reviews. The reviews are so so massive. So and these reviews are coming from people in different, you know, from different walks of life, from different fields of endeavor. So you can only count on them. You know. It's a very good tool. So I've been using them for quite some time now, so and they are really serving the purpose. If you move down, you are going to see several brand, brands that are you know are relying on this tool. So such as Geek Player, Life Wire, Life Hack are these two trends on below the dropshipping platform. Yeah. So All right, guys, so um, that is it on how you can explore the various features that this um, platform has. Then, on the other hand, they have a very reliable uh, feedback system. That's their support system. So let me walk you guys through how you can check out the kind of feedback that they get. So, then, first of all, this is their email address. So, and um, this email address is very active, such that they are always um, poised to hear feed, to get feedback and hear from their users. All over the world. So go ahead to reach out to them today about your concerns and comments. Because so most of them, even if it's inquiries or complaints, they are always um, eager to improve. So when you click on this um, icon, apart from sending an email to them, when you click on this icon by the right, you are going to see this um, form. So you enter your email description of what you would like to share with them. And if you have any attachments, or any file you want to attach it to your requirements or your message. So you can go ahead to submit it here. So once you do this, click on submit. Then they are definitely going to reach out to you with the file. Then
head down the formal standards of all. Let me show you guys the points of what we have here. Remember, they have a comment section, so you can install their comment section. So uh, let's scroll down. We are going to see that they support this following, uh, this, the following uh, input audio formats. There's MP3. That's for the uh, MP3 converter. There's also waveform audio file format. That's WAV. WAV uh, converter, basically. Yeah. Then there's FLAC, FLAC. That's free noiseless audio codec. That's FLAC converter. OGG, OGG for this compressed audio file for the OGG converter here. Mm, you have a Windows Media Audio, that's WMA converter. Uh, let's move down. There is also the compressed audio file, that's an um, M4A converter. There is also the adaptive multi rate AML converter here. This is it. Mm -hmm. Then the next one, there, there is um, the advanced audio encoding, uh, the audio coding rather, AAC. That is this one. Uh, this one. Then there is audio interchange file format. That's AIFM format. You have the core audio format. Then there is AC trace audio format. There's multi audio. These ones are under the audio trace. Then when you come to the video uh, format, you have the MP4, that would be MP4 and for this. So that's the description anyway. Then there is the deep text. Or otherwise known as the Matroska multimedia container or MKV in a short form. So this is it right here. Then um, there is the flash video, FNM, FNP rather, converter. Uh, we also have the WebM, WebM media converter. You have the audio video interlude, quick time file format, Windows media video. You have the shockwave flash of video objects. Uh, you have the APCHD of video. MPEG for video file, moving picture expands page. So now that's for the input and output of, uh, rather for the input only of the audio and video. Then for the output audio file formats, you still have the AAC, AC3, AIF. Um, AIFF, AMR, APD, AU, WAB, FLAC, M4A, M4B, M4R, MKA, MP3, OGG. Then um, okay, we've listed or uh, outlined these ones too. Then under the output video file format that they support, they are listed here. So you see uh, 3 to 2. Otherwise known as the third generation partnership project. So other uh, also known as the Dribble G2 converter. They have three G2. So it's still under the same and Dribble G2 converter section. Then in of advanced systems format, there's AVI audio video interlude, deep text, FOB and other. Then you can have um, H265. Yeah, that's the high efficiency video coding converter. Then um, let's move down a little bit. So, so right here we have the video option uh, VOD, WebM, WMP, and SPID. So these are the list of the uh, five formats that this uh, company is supporting. Then they also have a community. Let me show you guys. Um, so you can apply. In fact, for you to join your community, you have to apply to be accepted into their community. So, um, 
it is also very important you know that uh, while you are a member of your community you can you know, contribute to projects you can only have the opportunity to interact with other like minds for this journey you see and that who are part of the Indian space and so you can actually tap into their network of um, users remember they have to go back So they have over 50 million users in the world, so they are very robust on this. Yeah. They are very, very active. So, uh, like I said earlier, if you want to join their community, go ahead to apply right here uh, let me show you where, where you apply it's your option to apply now now you see uh you have to you know fill this up short form that they expect of you here so you see what they want here media of io product survey and all that so the first thing uh, that is expected of you is to fill in the use case on people. People can also use this platform. And, um, Then the next thing is to describe how you would describe um, your experience of using this. Um, so go ahead to share these thoughts with them. So you check out these options, why you are using, the reasons for you to use um, their tool. So you can select everything in the head, and, uh, you know, whatever it is you want to give us your response. Okay, so I'll uh, move down. You see the options of uh, which visuals you mostly use on this tool. Then, uh, you know, challenges. These are the challenges you are having. If you have any, you can go ahead to select it here.
Okay, so um, you can suggest some features you would like them to improve on or to add to their tool. Then uh, you scroll down and check your whatever it is that is your occupation. So you select it from here. Okay. So let's move down the more to check out this. Okay, so if you'd like them to reach out to you personally for maybe an interview or a discussion, you can also check the yes and no to more to. Then, um, then you can also give them the email account to use for sign up on their platform that's the email address anyway so that is how you go about connecting to them you know via application or yeah joining their community so let me show you guys some other thing again um, under the support uh, they will have a blog so Right here in this their blog, uh, you're going to see several information around you know, about their tools and um, their platform. So go ahead to check it out. So you see different articles about how you can add music to Windows Media Player, top three online video converter, top five online MP4 converter, how to use voice typing in Google Docs, best um, voice to text converters, free and paid. It's more or less like comparison of some of their features. No, I did the sidebar. So any of these features that is selected here is what is displayed uh, on this uh, particular slide. So you see convert video and audio, edit video and audio, record video and audio, convert and compress and edit in the script maker, play video, transfer video. So what it means is if you need that you know, that's related to any of this, just go ahead to select it. So
all right guys so go ahead to check out um, this platform so um like i shared with you earlier i would like you to try it out and uh, give me your feedback in the description of this or uh, rather in the comment section of this video uh, don't forget also to check out their FAQ. That's the Frequent Ask Questions section. Let me show you guys uh, how that looks. Okay, so you see some of the few questions they answered here. Can I convert the same file twice? The answer is yes. Um, my downloaded file can't be open. Can you say so? Um, so you see the answer. Ensure you use the right software among the list of softwares. If you continue to experience issue you can go ahead to report or notify them what you get yeah uh, then I've deleted a file posted by this time can I retrieve it from your site again yes um, so you can use the original download link to retrieve it into the file so what this means is that any file you work on you know using this tool on their platform if you get to maybe if you lost it after rendering it or you know processing the file, you can always get it back with Infinite Files. That's one day. Okay, so yes, you can get it. You know, you can just check for the download location of your browser. Does this service work on Mac OS or Linux? Uh, yes, so it works on any platform because it, it's a web based um, platform. So and it's supported on the most browsers, whether on Windows, Mac, OS, or Linux platforms. Okay, so uh, once more, this is their contact email. This if you want to reach out to them, you can always reach out to them using this email. So, all right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.